greetings all and welcome to purple trades in today's video we are going to discuss a concept or a strategy that is called as trend following strategy and we are going to discuss how we can make money using this strategy so here are the highlights that we are going to discuss in today's video first this strategy is having an accuracy of less than 60% so roughly the accuracy is around 55% and in spite of having only 55% accuracy this strategy has delivered 100% return on your investment in just 3 months also the best part about this strategy is that this can be fully automated that means you need not be in front of your screen you can simply automate the entire strategy and automatically the trades would be executed into your trading account so let's start discussing the strategy the strategy is very simple here are few hypotheses of the, the strategy first the assumption here is that stock that starts steadily usually ends up with less movement that means if there is no big gap up or big gap down in a stock it is opening at the price where it had closed yesterday then the probability of it giving you a wild move is very very less so that means if a stock does not have a big gap up or a gap down there are chances that it would usually be flat of course there are days when it can move 4 to 5 percent up or down in spite of opening flat but that those cases are exception generally overall it is observed that the stock that starts flat has a higher probability of ending flat as well however on the other hand the stocks with gap up or gap down of 1% and above has a higher probability of going up or down aggressively if a stock is opening up or down by more than 1% from its previous close it can aggressively go up or down so this is one hypothesis now to take advantage of this particular theory we'll have to understand what would happen with the stocks that gap up or gap down above one percent so here is what could happen after a gap the stock can either fill the gap or continue the trend that means for example say this is how the price has moved on a particular day and the next day after closing here the next day open is either above or below so next day open can be either one percent up or one percent down now from the gap up it can either go continuously up or can go down to fill the gap similarly from the bottom either it can fill the gap or can go down to continue the trend both the ways it is possible but usually the stocks with a bigger gap gives one to two percent move very very easily compared to those stocks which do not have such big gaps so what we do is we take first five minutes high and low as a reference point for buy or short breakout so we take first five minutes candle of the day we mark high and low of that candle and if the high is broken we buy and if the low is broken we'll short I'll explain you this process in detail on the chart. Let us look at other hypotheses as well before that. Now script is expected to go up if high levels are broken and expected to go down if low levels are broken. One or the other side it has to catch the trend and the reason why we are marking high and low of the first candle is just our reference points to ensure that we are in the trend when the market is going either ways. Now once we have marked the buy levels and short levels, here are some rules that we will follow in the strategy. First, if high levels are broken, we will buy and if low levels are broken, we will short. Trading with leverage, this is an intraday strategy, so we will be trading with leverage and because of trading with leverage, you can experiment this strategy with a very very small capital as well so if you want to just experiment whether this strategy is actually profitable or not you can have only 20 to 30 thousand rupees in your account you can use leverage and you can still test if the strategy is actually giving you profits or not also after our buy or short entry 
we aim for 1% move in the script from our entry levels as our target that means wherever we are entering from that price onwards we are aiming 1% move in our direction and 1% would be our strict target so let me show you how it looks on the chart so this is how it looks on the chart if i have to take you here back on acc feb 25 you can see first 5 minutes candle this is the first 5 minutes candle we have marked high and low of the first 5 minutes candle if the high is broken we are buying a green arrow represents buy if the low is broken we are selling the red arrow represents a short and if again the high is broken we will again enter so i just wanted to show you how it looks like in the worst case in worst case you will see a lot of buy sell buy entries and finally hitting your target and on other days you will not see so many whipsaws you will see trend following in either first attempt or maximum in the second attempt so if i have to show you some other scripts you can see for example adani ports feb 25 first five minutes candle high and low we have marked second candle there is a breakout and within few minutes your one percent target is done here similarly if we go down and check so say ambuja cement feb 26 first candles high broke out the target was done in a second candle itself if we go down further so there are days when in spite of gap up or gap down market might not give you enough profits for example look at this apollo tire a big gap up then first five minutes candle range range low was broken we took a short and then we took a buy but market was flat the entire day so so first trade was in a small loss and second trade exited at cost to cost so in spite of gap there are chances that market can stay flat but the chances are very very low but usually in worst case you will see market staying flat and in those days you might end up in losses as well and that is the reason we say that the accuracy of the strategy is just 55 to 60 percent similarly if we go down further and check stocks like for example say bajaj auto or bajaj finzer so in bajaj finzer yesterday the low was broken instantly on the second candle and one percent target was done so i don't want to show you how targets and stop loss are met what i want to show you here is that stocks which usually have a big gap up or gap down has a very very high potential of giving you a bigger move in the last two days market was anyways very very volatile but if you see normal days when the market was flat for example if i scroll back so say there was this one day on bajaj auto where there was a short but we had to exit cost to cost and if i go further back Yes, on Jan 29, there was a short which gave you 1% target. So majority of the days, you will be ending up winning itself. If I scroll back further down. There was no trade. So not every script will give you trades. Very few scripts will give you trades on the days when the nifty is on back when the days nifty and bank nifty is opening normally. The days when nifty and bank nifty itself is gap up or gap down those days you might see a lot of entries but normally in a month you will have only two to three times a script giving you entries so what we do here is we perform a scanner on nifty 100 or nifty 200 stocks we run the scanner in 200 or 100 scripts every day on an average two to three scripts will give you entries and exits right so there might be possibility that out of three stocks one is giving you loss but the other two are giving you profits so overall you will end up winning for example instead of bajaj finzer if i select something else for example reliance reliance is favorite of a lot of people so if i talk about reliance say today there is no entry but yesterday there was only one entry in reliance reliance was four percent up yesterday so it it was a winning trade for us but if i go back and check so there were three trades on flat market so this was a loss making trade this was also a loss making trade and this trade was cost to cost so you lost a little bit of money on feb 23rd in reliance and if you go back and check on jan 21 there was a gap up and you got your one percent target you can see the trade frequency is very very small right on jan 19 you got an entry you exited at a very small profits N neither target nor stop loss was achieved and if i go further back again on jan 5 we took a trade and we exited almost cost to cost 
we'll talk about risk management also as we go ahead but the point of showing you all this example is to help you understand that this strategy will basically catch bigger moves and if the moves are not big you will either exit cost to cost or at a very very small losses so after talking about target let us now talk about risk management in risk management here are the set of rules that we will apply first if the first trade of the day gives us profit we stop trading for that particular day that means if your first trade itself is giving you 1% profit stop trading for that day even if the trend reverses and if the trade is going on other side you will still not take an entry what do you mean by this let me explain you for example say this is the first candle we have marked high and low if the first candle say high is broken we'll buy here and if our target is achieved if 1% target is achieved if your target is achieved here that's it will stop trading for that particular day now in the second half of the session before 3:30 if the market is going reverse and breaking the low we will not take a short here we will not take any other extra entry if the target is done we are stopping entry for that particular day similarly if the low is broken first if the short has come first and if the target is done will not take an entry in the reverse direction even if the high is breaking again so if the first trade of the day is profitable will not take the trade again the next risk management is if second or any other trade is in gain will stop trading for that day that means any trade that be it first trade or second trade whichever trade is profitable we will not take a trade again after our profit has achieved so either it can be first trade or it can be second trade or it can be third trade now how many trades we will take maximum in a day maximum trades per day in a script is 3 that means we'll try to catch the trend 3 times only a day because if we are unable to catch the trend even after 3 times it is very obvious that the market is flat no need to catch the trend again in that particular script for example let me take you back to the emi bro so on trending days say you will get a target straight away but on flat days like look at this day the market was flat you got a short you got a buy you got a short again so the market was flat that is the reason both high and low were breaking again and again but even if it is breaking high and low more than 3 times there is no point to there is absolutely no need to enter because market is choppy Be market is choppy it is going in both the direction and you will end up losing more on taxes brokerage and slippages even if you catch a little bit of rally on one direction so maximum attempts that we will do is 3 only we have back tested it based upon multiple parameters like maximum trades per day keeping it as 2 3 4 5 up to 7 as well but the best result were when we had maximum trades only 3 and also to manage your stop losses If the range of the first candle is greater than one percent, we will avoid trading to safeguard ourselves from choppy market. Now, this is a very very important point. I'll explain you the meaning of this point. That means, if the first candle's range is greater than one percent, we will not take trade in that particular script. That means, for example, say the first candle of the day is having a very big range a range greater than 1% what do you mean by range range means the difference between high and low for example low is of 100 rupees but high is say 102 then the range is of 2% right now why do we avoid such big range because assume that when the high is broken you buy now if the trend is getting reversed you will have to wait for the 100 levels to break only then you will exit the current buy and you will e enter in the reverse direction so you are losing 2% in this particular example you are losing more than 2% on your stop loss whereas your target was just 1% and if by chance if it is a very bad day from short if it is again going to the buy side you are again losing more than 2% so that means you will lose a lot here 
when the candle range is very very big and if the market turns out to be choppy so profits made in other script will be all eaten up by a single script that is having such big range so what is usually advised is that the candles range should be very small a small something like this less than 1% maybe say 0.5% so if the range opening is at 100 if the low is at 100 high can be 100.5 so even if the high is broken and if there is a stop loss it's just a 0.5% stop loss again if there is a stop loss it is a 0.5% stop loss and if my target is achieved I'm making 1% so whatever stop loss was achieved in the first two trade was all compensated by one single target so this is basically effectively managing your risk reward system to make sure your risk reward system does not hamper you ensure that your tar if your target is 1% candles range should be less than 1% if it is greater than 1% your strategy will become loss making strategy so to explain you this let's go back to ME broker again so in reliance itself yesterday we have taken the trade look at yesterday's trade we have taken a trade at feb 25 and our target was achieved because the range was very very small the difference between high and low was very very small the blue color line represents five minutes high and the yellow color line represents five minutes low so the this range is very very narrow but look at feb 26 the first candle is very very big right the first candle is very very big although there is a big gap down the gap down is greater than one percent in spite of that the first candle range is very very big and we will avoid taking trades on feb 26 and that is the reason you will see that there is no buy or short arrow on feb 26 because for example this was feb 26 first candle the high was broken here if i take a buy now at the reversal at this particular candle i had to short i am already losing around two percent here and if by chance if there is a reversal i will lose and even if my target is achieved i will still not make money because i have lost greater than one percent in my first trade now if i'm winning just one percent in my second trade i would still be in loss itself not only reliance i can show you other examples as well say tata motors i'll just zoom out tata motors you can see on feb 25 the candles range was very small and we got a one percent target on feb 26 candle range was very big greater than one percent so we have avoided taking trade in this particular script so this is one way to manage your risk effectively when you're creating algorithms all right having said that let us now look at the backtest report we have backtested this strategy in the last three months on nifty 200 stocks on the watch list of nifty 200 we have removed some unwanted stocks like idea acre motor mrf the very big stocks and penny illiquid stocks we have removed and out of nifty 200 we have had around 120 to 130 good liquid scripts we have back tested our strategy on those 120 scripts and here is the back test report first assumption of this back test report is we are having we are taking a leverage of 5x that means on since the strategy is intraday we are assuming your broker is giving you at least a leverage of 5x and the brokerage is 0.03 percent so 0.03 percent is what discount brokers like zerodha fires upstocks allies blue all of them charge you the same brokerage on equities so our assumption is leverage is 5x and brokerage is 0.03 percent now here are the backtest reports so your initial capital you have started with is 1 lakh rupees and it has become 2 lakh 6700 rupees so your profit is 1 lakh 6000 or 106 percent on your principal so your profit is more than 100 percent and talking about various factors so max trade drawdown is just 1.93 percent and total winning accuracy you can see here is just 55 percent 55 percent of the times you were in profits and 44.9 that is approximately 45 percent of the times you were in loss so in the entire three months how many trades did we get 65 trades plus 53 trades total 
वन हंड्रेड एंड एटीन ट्रेड वन वन एट ट्रेड्स इन द एंटायर लास्ट थ्री मंथ्स इज वॉट यू हैव गॉट सो आउट ऑफ वन वन एट ट्रेड्स फ्यू वेर इन प्रॉफिट्स फ्यू वेर इन लॉस बट अज्यूमिंग एवरी ट्रेड एवरी विनिंग ट्रेड हैज गिवन यू वन वन परसेंट आफ्टर ऑल द ब्रोकरेज एंड एवरीथिंग वी हैव मेड वन जीरो सिक्स परसेंट ऑन योर प्रिंसिपल विथ फाइव एक्स लेवरेज इफ यू डोंट कंसिडर फाइव एक्स लेवरेज देन द रिटर्न वुड कम डाउन टू मे बी अराउंड ट्वेंटी एट और ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट ओनली so this is about the strategy if you want to automate this strategy this strategy we are providing with free automation if you open an account with us in fires or zerotha you get one week trial of this strategy absolutely free along with our bridge after one week you just need to subscribe to algo fox bridge the strategy will still be free and the trades will be automatically executed onto your trading platform free forever so this strategy will be free forever for those who open fires or zerodha account with us to open an account or to know more about the strategy you can contact us at this given number 63619229946 thank you so much for watching this video spread knowledge cause it's free and if you like our video